Hello everyone and welcome back to my Boulder's Gate Trilogy solo playthrough. Today is the day we've been waiting for. At the end of this episode we get our mage. Hey, hey, not a concern. Mayor! Hi! Um, calm down, everyone, please. I assure you that everything that can be done is being done. Truth be told, getting the mage is not the hard part. It's, um, <laughs> surviving, figuring out what quests you can do in order to get your fighter levels back afterwards. But as you can see, this episode we're going to start the Umar Hills. Hello. I don't recognize you. You must be new. We've had a run of killings and disappearances here as of late. Yeah, I'll see to it. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. You'll find no better prices in armor. I guarantee it. Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. To be honest, the only reason I came over here and started doing the Umar Hills is um, partially because I had already unlocked it to grab that Bill Jural or whatever the gem is out of, out of the chicken. And I also figured that this would be one of the easier quests that I could do without uh, mage levels. For instance, I want to do the Planar Sphere and um, the Hair Delice quest, um, both dragons. Um, trying to think of the others that I might want to do but in any case I want to do those when I have both my fighter and my mage levels Now I was trying to think of what I could do quickly in order to get a good amount of experience and this fig this sounded like the uh, the best choice. I think I could have also gone and done the uh, Buried Alive quest, the Maybar Guildhall stuff. Uh, I'm sure there's other things that I could have taken care of that would have been just as valuable. But the May Bar quest is so easy, uh, I figured I didn't have any reason to do that. The only reason I'd want to do the Hair Delice um, quest, I forgot what that area is called that you go into. But anyway, you get Boots of Speed out of there, so that's your primary purpose for doing that quest. If you didn't know, you can also kill um, the Shadow Thief leader, not the one that you talk to in order to do the, the main quest, the one that Galen Bill gets you in contact with. Uh, the other one, I forgot his name, the one upstairs, but anyway, if you attack and kill him, he has boots of speed as well. Uh, that being said, there's an invisible assassin that will one-shot you most of the time if you try to fight him. Let's do this. 
as quick and yeah. <laughs> so for me, it's not worth the the time investment to do it because I'll get a, one set of boots of speed naturally, which is all I need. But if you have a, a party and you want more than one person with boots of speed, it's done. Um, then it's pretty helpful. So that short sword's quite good. It gives you one cast and mirror image per day. Um, it, I think it's only a plus one short sword, uh, but it does give you some good utility. It's not particularly useful for me because I'll get a uh, mirror image, obviously, since I'll be a mage. It's probably best left to me. I've also been kind of trying to think of when it would be a good uh, good time to do the more difficult quests, like the the Demulich stuff, Kangax or whatever his name is. Uh, the the hidden fight inside the bridge district where you get the staff of the Magi. Ideally, I would like to do that before I go down into the Underdark and Brynlaw. But I 100% want my Berserk before I fight the Demi Lich. And I also want my extra attacks per round. Uh, just so I can swing at him all day and continually damage him. Because he regenerates so quickly. I think if I tried to fight him as a mage, even if I could resist his imprisonment and all that, he would just heal up faster than I could damage him. And eventually my spell protections would wear off and he would imprison me. Give me some direct. I hope this is worth it. But I do really want that ring. The improved taste on the ring is really helpful. It saves me uh, a couple spell slots. Uh, not to mention, it gives you a good amount of magic resistance. It gives you regeneration. Uh, overall, it's just the best ring in the game. I don't think there's any contest. And surprisingly enough, the fight to get Staff of the Magi is much easier than uh, than the Kangax fight. Oh, and you see me make a mistake right there. I dropped that stuff thinking that once it's in my quest journal, I didn't need that anymore. But it turns out I need to go back and grab it to in order to talk to the mayor, Minister Lloyd, or whatever his name is. But anyway, the fight to get the Staff of the Magi is easier because you can stack up a couple scrolls, like uh, Protection from Magic. That's one of the great places in the game to use a Protection from Magic scroll. You can use a Protection from Undead, and that just makes it a cakewalk. I've seen someone do it as a solo level 9 sorcerer, and all they did was buy a bunch of scrolls of uh, Skull Trap and a few other things. And basically just stacked them up and used Melf's Minute Meteors and just DPS down everything. It's done. I'm not exactly sure how it went so smoothly for that person. Uh, I think I'll probably die a few times, have to do some trial and error. But I think we'll be able to get it done without too much hassle. Done. 
it's probably best left to me. I've been also trying to think of where some good gauntlets are in this game, and I can't I can't really remember. My ideal ones would be the gauntlets of weapon expertise, the ones I was using in Boulders Gate 1. up to you, my friend. So here you end up seeing an extremely messy fight. Um, if you've played this before, you know that this is a trap and you can go activate that stone and be protected from all these guys, but I wanted the experience from killing them myself. Uh, but I also forgot that they're just going to drain my strength constantly, so my damage is going to be going down. Eventually I get to the point where I can't even move. Scream! Scream for mercy! Yeah, so you see there, the second wave spawned, and I was like, oh shit, well I better go activate the mirror, and then I get stuck. Hold still. Let's do this, quick. Thank god I'm a high enough fighter that, even with low strength, I'm doing good damage, yeah. and um, I can hit, even on like a three. And for some reason that strength potion didn't take. I wasn't able to uh, move after taking that strength potion. Yeah. <laughs> I can't for the life of me think why. Hold still. Scream. Scream for mercy. So there you saw how good that Berserker Warrior was. He was able to take out three of them. I think he could have done more um, if he hadn't been unsummoned.
see to it. What is it? Time is up. And you might notice a little bit later inside um, inside this area, you might get different enemies spawning than me. It seems like some of the some of the enemy spawns are level specific or XP specific. Sometimes you will run into liches in here, which sounds like a bad thing, but they're actually worth so much experience that it's oftentimes worth it to come here later and fight the liches. Scream! Scream for mercy! And to be honest, liches aren't so bad. If you have someone using, you know, Carsimer, Flail of Ages, something that can bust through stone skin, and you have a spellcaster that can can dispel uh, their magic protections. Ordinarily, when you're uh, uh, some sort of spell casting melee fighter, like if you're playing a blade or if you have a character like mine, I like to do a spell sequencer that is, uh, or maybe it's a spell trigger, that you can do two pierce magics and a breach. Otherwise, if you can't do the, the high level one, you can do, um, I think you can do level fours on the... The regular spell sequencer the level seven spell uh, in which case you can cast secret word um, and spell thrust although spell thrust doesn't seem that particularly useful you can also do the regular old uh, remove magic So you'll notice there used to be a diamond hidden in that statue's eye. Uh, apparently the enhanced editions have removed that. So those videos nearing a close, you'll see me do a couple more random encounters. 
I pick up a little bit more loot in here and then I'm going to level up and then immediately leave and go start the level up process which will be next episode. I will do very little commentary on that next episode um, and I'll, I'll talk about right away in the beginning of that video what I end up accomplishing. So if you don't want to watch me memorize scrolls for 20 minutes and then feel free to skip that one or just watch the first couple minutes so you know what I did. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Let's do this quick and pain. Yeah. Hold still. Give me some direction. I'm waiting. Yeah, I'll see to it. Yeah, it's done. Give me I'm there. I'm waiting.